Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, the one, the only, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, trolls, or complainers, because the complaint department is long ago closed. Alright, this is my haul for the night. It's very hot here. It'll be 93 tomorrow. I didn't look to see what the temperature is now, but it's got to be in the 80s. I went to the store, spent 20 minutes trying to find an item that didn't exist. Went to the pharmacy, asked the lady, do you have this? She says, I have no idea. I don't know where anything is. I mean, how can you work in an apartment and you don't know where anything is? She said, go get an employee. So I got an employer. He pulls out the device. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, it's an aisle B8 or M8. I go all the way back in the store to M8. The shelves are bare. Thank you, Joe Biden. Another supply shortage. So I go find another employee. Can you look for this? He looks around the machine, says there should be some in stock. I go, he goes in the back, come back, nothing. So I go to a third employee. You get a manager. The manager comes over, what's wrong? I said, first of all, why is it so hot in here? I went to the other store and it, the air conditioning is not crank. In the wintertime, they run the air conditioning. In the summertime, they crank down the air conditioning. It's almost as hot as it is inside. So she laughed, well, can I help you? I said, well, the guy that I want in the store, there isn't any. I went to one employee, two employees, three employees now. And you are the manager of the fourth employee and the, the shelves are bare. So she looks in the machine and says, hmm, it says this, and the thing should be under, under it, it says this, and it's saying we have zero. So she calls over another manager, and she looks in the shelves, they're empty. She looks in the machine and said, completely out of stock. By the way, tonight, tomorrow will be 92. So she said, I'll tell you what I'll do, you come up to the customer service thing, I'll give you a $10 gift card for trouble, but thank you. So I bought my own and came home. She said, uh, and she said, I'm sorry, don't you apologize, it's not your fault, supply shortages or whatever, thank you, Joe Biden, not, not in my buy all the time, I really need it, they don't have it, <laughs> I forgot last week to go get some, i take the court paperwork in Monday, and gonna go see Kathy, all right, this it is it, now um, I bought this uh, refrigerator, Tomorrow I'll be cleaning the icebox in the evening. I don't do stuff when it's 93, 4, 5 degrees in here. I'm going out somewhere. I'm going to get food. All right, we have a fresh bottle of Snapple. We have a cup of ice water that tipped over and made the whole the bottom of the bag wet. We have a very wet box of pouches. I opened it up picked it up to see if it uh, was wet, and it was, and uh, the, all the pouches went all over the bag. I made a small profit with the, uh, upon the bottle, and we have, I gave orange, orangey, tiny one and gray pouches, so we had 12 pouches of this, and we have Delicious deviled egg potato salad, and a bottle of Snapple, and a can of pineapple. Oh, I got crushed into the chunks. I get crushed when I go up. And I'll be drinking the other Snapple when it gets cold when I finish this one off. And they had no diet Snapple. And then I got chicken egg rolls. The box is all wet. <laughs> and finally, I got a pizza. And, uh, the open pouches that I opened for orange and leaking all over the place. So they didn't have the other stuff, the brats. They preferred the brats. And Orangey was doing his usual run away from the cat food. I've never understood that. He's hungry, he comes out, and then he runs away from the cat food. So, this will be my dinner after I take the olives off. Alright, tomorrow, 93, I'm getting out of here. I'll go get free food tomorrow, and then probably head to the mall or something. I'm not sitting here and roasting all day, that's for sure. This is George Send to the guy from Pittsburgh. Yeah, you can't talk. It's awfully warm out there.
going down to feed my cat and kitten. Fuzzy stayed in the balcony. She got a little mad at me. Went, Fuzzy, I'm back. And she just sat in, it, sat in the stairs. Didn't look at me. I'm gone. I left her, abandoned her. And I didn't really, but I had to go shopping. And uh, Fluffy and little girl were outside. Fluffy just came in. He came in earlier, and I just went out, and little girl was outside. All right, that's what's happening. Tomorrow I'll also do a load of laundry. And I found a pair of uh, blue jeans that amazingly, in fact, they're actually loose because I've lost weight over the years. The button class needs to be uh, a little tightened up. It's a little loose, but that's the only pair of pants I have. So anything that doesn't fit, I donate to the bin down the street. So I'll be wearing those in court, and if the judge says anything, I'm gone. I don't have a pair of dress pants. I'm a poor and poverty-stricken man. I have a girlfriend and cats. All right, this is George Send to the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. Stay cool, stay hydrated, stay wet, and stay safe. And I'll catch you next time. Uh, enjoy your weekend. I hope you got a pool and air conditioning and a barbecue. Okay, and, uh, oh yeah, one other thing. You can join the channel for three ninety nine or six ninety nine a month to watch content you'll see anywhere else. Nowhere else, not anywhere else. <laughs> God, I hate it when I'm hot because I can't think straight, and I can't think straight when I'm cold either. I think sometimes. Okay. Anyhow, join the channel, become a channel member. And I will catch you next time, which will be probably tomorrow when I get another item coming in the mail. And then Monday, two more items, and that's it. So, bye-bye for now. Have a great evening.